17 3 weather with Tom Kipman. It was a wet one today. Yeah, we had multiple rounds of rain showers and thunderstorms move through the UP and we got a healthy amount of videos into our 906 weather watchers page and also some photos. We'll break it up a little bit. We'll go tonight and then we'll have some more tomorrow. But as we look at Cindy Scheffler's place, this is an Escanaba. This was this afternoon and you can see some gusty winds there, some leaves blown around there in the wind and some decent rain coming through the Escanaba area. Thank Thank you, Cindy, for sending this video into our 906 Weather Watchers page. Next up is Karen Hattie of Gwyn, and you can see the storm clouds rolling in here into the Gwyn area. This is along M35 west of Gwyn. You can see the storm clouds moving on in. Just an awesome video. Thank you, Karen, for sending that one in. And then as we head into Scandia, Patty Layton here. And it is the hummingbird enjoying the rain and not hiding from the elements. We had Bonnie V last week. She had a hummingbird that was underneath the hummingbird feeder. This one enjoying the rain and enjoying lunch, lunch it looks like here. And you can see the rain coming down pretty good in Scandia. And I'm sure Spencer enjoyed a day inside taking a nap here and there. Yes. So I think we got one of those photos from Patty as well. But thank you, Patty, for sending that in. We're going to go from videos and we're going to go to Max One here. And this is the Marquette Extended Forecast. And I forgot to recue the show here. But you can see a warm one tomorrow. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. As we look at Palmer, Alex Colin sending, or let me use this photo on our 906 Weather Watchers page. You can see the mine there looking towards the west and you can see the storm clouds as well. Thanks. Thank you, Alex, for sending that in. And then check out these photo, this photo here from Yes, that looks fierce. And off in the distance there, you can see the heavier rain beyond Grand Island there out in the middle of Lake Superior. But that definitely looks fierce there. And some awesome looking storm clouds moving through the Munising area. Thank you, Kevin, for getting these awesome photos. He also posted our video to our 906 Weather Watchers page. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, check out more photos like this and also send in photos of your own. Becca and I would love to show them off during WJM and Local 3 News and also on upmatters.com. Checking out three things to know here for your late Monday night rain and thunderstorm chances. It's tough to pin down when, but just know pretty much most of this week we're fair game for a chance of rain and also a chance of thunderstorms. Look for the winds to pick up the pace tomorrow out of the south and we'll have some gusty southerly winds continuing on into Tuesday night and we will also see some gusty winds as we head into Wednesday. We are warming up though tomorrow afternoon. That's the main weather story. Check out these temperatures for Tuesday afternoon away from Lake Michigan. We're looking at high temperatures generally in the 80s and 90s. And then here comes your cooler air as we head into Wednesday and then noticeably cooler as we head into the daytime on Thursday. Our community forecast here for the Copper Country. We're looking at temperatures tonight that will be in the 50s. Your Tuesday afternoon temperatures range from 77 for Copper Harbor to 93 for Barrick and Lance. Houghton checks in Tuesday afternoon at 88 degrees. Now you do see thunderstorms on your screen here. I'm telling you, most of you make it through the day dry on Tuesday, but there is a slight chance of seeing some rain showers and thunderstorms, so don't be surprised if some rain showers and thunderstorms pop up Tuesday afternoon, but the chance is small. Most of the storms Tuesday afternoon stay on off to our west. Around 90 in the interior west, and as you go inland west of Escanaba, we're looking at temperatures upper 80s to around 90, but locally cooler near the lake shore. As we move into Newberry and the eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures that will be in the 80s away from Lake Superior and Lake Michigan for Tuesday afternoon. Alger County, it's going to be a warm one as you head well inland. Trenary may be approaching 90 degrees Tuesday afternoon. Well, it may be a tad bit cooler right along the Lake Superior shoreline and the Pitcher Rocks coast. As we get into Marquette County, we'll see temperatures well inland Tuesday afternoon upper 80s to perhaps around 90 and then for the higher terrain west of Marquette you can see temperatures will be in that same range as well and then for the city of Marquette a decent southerly wind by the afternoon I think no Lake Superior Lake breeze for your Tuesday it's going to stay offshore highs tomorrow mid to upper 80s perhaps right around 90.